Hi guys, how are you doing? Lisa here again and today I'm here with Dina Kaplan who is starring on the second series of Dance Academy <laughs> here in Sydney. They're filming at the moment. Um, you're in the first season as well. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, and Dina is a client of mine and we have been talking quite a bit um, about her kind of career progression and things like that and thought it'd be great to actually share some of the kind of ups and downs that go with a career because she has the amazing opportunity of having both dance and acting, her two loves, combined into the one job. So congratulations on actually achieving that. Um, <laughs> so how did you actually come to be in this place today? Um, well, I, I started off uh, doing ballet quite yeah. seriously and I was very um, very much in love with being a ballerina and yeah. the idea of that but when I realized that that may not happen I started looking at other options yeah. and I really love doing jazz and contemporary and theater and acting and singing so I started just taking a lot more classes and yeah. you know opening up my eyes a little bit more and from then from after that I got an agent and auditions and yeah, yeah one thing that's another <laughs> And Dina has had an amazing career going to Alvin Ailey in New York and Lion King in China and all kinds of amazing other things, but now she's back in Sydney. <laughs> um, and we just wanted to find out what are a few of the key things you mentioned. You got an agent quite early on. Yeah. Um, how do you think that really helps um, make that transition into the professional world? Well, I think um, having an agent is the most important thing yep. in um, you know having a professional career. And it's something that as dancers we don't often actually think of until we kind of ride at the cusp yeah, of absolutely. actually making a professional career, if yeah. then, even for some people. Yeah, yeah, and agents are important for not only actors and for theatre, but dance agents are really yep. important, even for things like commercials and commercial dance work and yep. corporate dance work, because it m means as a performer you get treated the right way and someone's protecting you and yeah yeah you get the auditions and all the fun because stuff. there are so many things that often you don't learn until you've made a few mistakes Absolutely. or unless you yeah. talk to people in the industry um, and it's actually something that came up because uh, a few weeks ago um, a friend actually gave me a copy of the actor's handbook and I kind of went well I don't deal with actors very much <laughs> and he said no 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 check it out for your dancers and I started having a look through and I was actually really impressed with all the advice on agents and castings and auditions and things like that but I thought that Dina would be my perfect test dummy <laughs> because she is actually being a dancer and being an actress. Um, what were your kind of first impressions when I gave this to you? I was so impressed with the book. Yeah. I thought, um, I just thought it was kind of the perfect guideline for anyone starting out in acting, or yeah. even anyone going from being a dancer at school trying to get yeah. into the professional Dance world. You know, a training. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I wish I'd. <laughs> I wish I'd read it. <laughs> had one of those. Kind of had to learn the hard way. <laughs> yeah. All those things that you go, yeah, that's right. Why didn't you tell me that? Yeah. Um, and we actually didn't even realise at the time, but Dina was reading through and she actually said, um, Lise, my agent actually contributed to this book, so it was kind of a nice little surprise. Absolutely, um, yeah. I think the information here is so valuable and some really brilliant actors and agents and casting directors have contributed, contributed to, it, to it. And I learnt a fortune reading it yeah. and I've been working in the industry for a <laughs> for few years. So. Yeah. So that's a really, really, really important thing. Yeah, it's and really interesting. This is something that I just wanted to push to everyone. Um, I have no financial affiliation with this book. It's just something that I think can help dancers. Um, and I've given it to quite a few other girls as well, just kind of passed it around. Um, and everyone's had the same kind of feedback that, wow, I never would have picked it up because it says Actors Handbook, but it really is for the Australian entertainment industry, Absolutely. but also for overseas. There are a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of great information about you know going overseas and, and getting an agent and a visa and all those things. All those so things. It's fantastic. And Dina herself has had had issues when you're in the States with finding the right visas and mm -hmm. Working through all the laws and things like that. All the fun stuff. All the fun <laughs> stuff. Um, so it's stuff like this that if you are thinking about a career as a professional um, actor, actress, dancer, performer, musical theatre, you name it, there is so much more beyond your training that you actually need to find. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, and in the position that you're in now, um, moving forward, and if you, or if you're thinking of giving a piece of advice to newcomers who are learning about or <laughs> thinking of be becoming involved in something a little bit further afield than yeah. straight dance, or even just being a professional dancer, what would be the two big pieces of advice that mm -hmm. you would give them? Well, I think um, it's very important to kind of open your mind and take as many classes as you can and not just yeah. stick to the one style and 
not just necessarily stick to dancing, you know, maybe look at if you are just a classical dancer taking some acting classes or singing classes mm, and, important. you know, learning about getting an agent and having a good CV and headshots and learning all about auditions and I think reading books like that and doing courses and kind of opening Definitely. up, you know, not being scared about trying new things and don't just follow the crowd, I think that can kind of set you apart from everyone else. Definitely. Um, and also I think it's very important to look after yourself and your body because going into... That's where we come in. <laughs> yes, thank God, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> we're, oh we're starting to put things back together. <laughs> Yeah, I think, you know, that's always a huge setback for dancers is injuries yeah. and um, sickness yeah. and yeah. Um, especially when you're travelling and touring and from a young age, you know, having to look after yourself, that's really, really important, learning yeah. about those things. Which is where we try and make, um, in the beginning, obviously, when kids are young, we spend a lot of time in the clinic working on things. As everyone gets older, I make a real focus on trying to actually teach them how to look after themselves when they're away from here. <laughs> so they don't actually need me anymore. Yeah. So that's probably a big thing to start looking into, is actually self-management things. Not getting re too overly reliant on therapists. Absolutely. Um, but really embodying it yourself. And yeah. So and there's loads of information that we have on that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Dina. It's a pleasure. It's been great to have you here tonight. <laughs> and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.